We are working on Gmetrics Excel Expert Practice Exam 2. Currently, we're on Project 1 called Utah National Parks. Task 1 asks us to go onto the Visitor Attendance tab. And what we're going to do is put our cursor in C12. And what it's looking for is a total average attendance at all the national parks. So with our cursor in this cell, we're going to go ahead and insert a function. And the function that we need is average. So we'll search for that one. We'll click OK. And our range is going to be from B4 all the way to G8. We'll click OK. We'll click Mark Completed. Task 2 asks us to go ahead and use a, a fill series, the fill series option in Excel uh, to extend uh, the attendance table uh, and add July to December. So there's multiple ways you can do this. I'm going to put my cursor here in G3. I'm going to put my cursor here on the little uh, green box down here until I get the black cross. What I'm going to do is just click and drag that over to M, and it shows me that when I let go, it'll be December. We'll go ahead and click Mark Completed. Task 3 asks us to go ahead and go to the F4 on the Ranger-led activities. And what we're going to do is uh, put a, a formula in that it looks up multiple criteria and ultimately displays yes or no. Um, this is a complicated formula. So let's go ahead and begin. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and start with the not function. So with our cursor here in F4, we're going to go ahead and insert function. And we'll type not here at the top. We'll click OK. And it's asking for our logic here, and it's this, C4 equals, and you have to put the text in quotation, and it's none. Again, C4 equals, in quotation, none. We'll click OK. From here, we want to go ahead and copy that formula, not including the equal sign, and cut that, and that's uh, Control X. And then what we want to do is go ahead and insert a new function. This time, we're going to go ahead and do AND. Type in AND, it pops up, click OK. And the logic 1, we're going to go ahead and just paste what we just cut. So it populates there. The logic 2 is going to be E4 equals yes. And again, I put yes in quotation marks so um, that it recognizes the text. I'll just show you real quick. If I delete the quotation marks, notice that it comes up with an error. So make sure you add that in. We'll click OK. From here, we want to go ahead and copy this formula and cut that out. And we're going to go ahead and insert yet another function. This time, we're going to go ahead and do if. We'll click OK. Our logic test is going to be the two formulas that we cut. What do we want Excel to put? If it's true, we want to put yes. We'll hit tab. It puts the quotations in there for us. We don't have to key it in that time. And what if it's false? We're going to go ahead and put no. And we'll click OK. Oh, we'll click OK. We'll click Mark Completed. Task 4 asks us to go ahead and enable the error checking rule that flags numbers formatted as text or preceded with an apostrophe. So uh, we're going to go ahead and click File here. And we're going to go ahead and scroll down to Options. We're going to click Formulas here on the left. I'll shrink this screen. And what we want to do is scroll down towards the bottom in the Error Checking Rules group. And we just want to go ahead and check this box. And we'll click OK. We'll click Mark Completed. Task 5 asks us to go ahead and go to the Attendance Trends tab. And what we have here is a chart. And what it wants us to do is add a linear trend line, uh, sorry, trend line, and specifically for Zion. So we're going to go ahead and click. Once we select this chart, we get the plus here. And we got trend line and linear Zion. We'll click Mark Completed. And our final task asks us to go ahead and go to the Programs by Park tab. And what it wants us to do is this pivot chart, it wants us to put it in outline form. So once we put our cursor here in this chart, we get the pivot tools, uh, table tools. We'll click Analyze. We'll click Design, I'm sorry, Design. And under Report Layout, we'll click the drop down and we'll click Show in Outline Form. We'll click Mark Completed.